Welcome to today's video where we will be discussing the application of a theorem from calculus that appears often on the GRE subject test and a common misconception that arises when applying it. The problem asks, which of the following is the derivative with respect to x of the integral from x cubed to x to the fourth e to the t squared dt? This is an example of a problem where it is beneficial to be systematic in order to avoid calculation errors. To start, notice that the function we are asked to integrate is not simple to integrate by elementary means. That combined with the fact that we are asked to differentiate an integral signals us to use the fundamental theorem of calculus. So in order to start the problem, first we will introduce a general antiderivative for the function we are integrating, namely e to the t squared. So we start by letting f be the antiderivative of e to the t squared, or in other words, the derivative of f with respect to t is e to the t squared. Then the integral from x cubed to x to the fourth of e to the t squared dt is f evaluated at x to the fourth minus f evaluated at x cubed. So in order to differentiate the integral on the left-hand side, it is equivalent to differentiating the right-hand side. But we must be careful because we are differentiating with respect to x so we will need to apply the chain rule. And this is precisely where mistakes tend to happen in applying the fundamental theorem of calculus. So now we go ahead and apply the chain rule to the right-hand side of the first equation in order to calculate the derivative of the integral in question. In doing so, we get 4x cubed f prime at x to the fourth minus 3x squared f prime at x cubed. And since f prime at any value t is e to the t squared, we can substitute appropriately to get our final answer. And doing so, we get our final answer of 4x cubed e to the exponent x to the 8 minus 3x squared e to the exponent x to the 6. So now we've determined what the derivative with respect to x of the given integral is. However, our answer doesn't look like any of the answer choices that are given to us. We see a slight resemblance to e, but we don't know that it's exactly the answer choice e. So one thing we can try to do is take a look at our answer and see, well, is it, for example, factorable? And it turns out that it is. We can take out a common factor of x squared and then also factor out e to the power x to the sixth to get precisely answer choice E. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, please click the like button below. And if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel.